Tell me what we're doing. Going to the hut in the middle of the bush. <laughs> and I don't think it's going to be that easy if it's going to be two hours. Two hours of walking through the bush. Are you excited? Uh, pretty much. Pretty much. You think we're we going to go for a hunt this afternoon? Mm. Well, <laughs> might do. Might do if the weather's good. Weather's good enough, with, which I think it is going to be. Because it's quite sunny right now, by the looks of it. It's quite hot, isn't it? Mm. All right. Should we get? Should we hit the track? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Yeah, that's better. Do you want to have a taste of this? What is it? That. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to have a taste of that. Mm. <laughs> oh, hey. I might have to chop up a whole lot of those people with leaves and put it in your dinner. Oh no! But you'd have to like, chop them as um, small as an atom. Have you got your dinner? I mean, not this season. No. I don't know, I've got a few snacks. <laughs> I've got you on front. Yep. So just try and stay on the spur that we're on. So just try and head, Flinny, just head, maybe head down that way. Oh, yeah. So when you look at, look, look up, maybe, and see. There's a bit of it, there's, you can just see there's a bit of a track that goes through here. There's a bit of a track that goes through there. Yeah, as but that's well. going to head off down the hill. We don't want to head off down the hill. It's a good little track. I think, I think. How many years ago did you find this? A couple of years. Like two? Yeah. Oh, well, then, this track is probably three years old. No, nah, this bivvy's been here a long time, mate. Yeah. You're on a good little track here. Really, really long time. Through there or down there? You choose. Yeah, it's through there. Right. Good. What do you think? I know! What do you think? Walking all the way out here for nothing. Like this. Like, who would have smashed this down? You know who would have taken Why it? Why would have they smashed it down? The Department of Conservation probably took it down. Why? Because you're not allowed... Why would have they been able to take something like this down? Because you're not allowed to build bivvies. They think that you're not allowed to build bivvies in the bush. Were they... Even if they're really wicked, like this one was, they've taken it all down. Yeah, someone could have lived there. It was pretty wicked, eh? Trouble here is? I know. No, you know what the problem is? Yeah. What's the problem? Is that... No, no, there's a more serious problem than, the, than this. The problem is that we've walked away all the way in here. Now and we've, how are we going to get out? No, because we've only got sleeping bags. We haven't got a tent fly. We haven't got bed rolls to sleep here. We haven't got any. We haven't got shelter for tonight. I know. But it's right, because what's the golden rule? How was that going <laughs> to help this? Okay. Well, we're in a survival situation, aren't we? What's the golden rule in a survival situation? Always pack a survival bl blanket. And always stick together. Yes. Pretty much. Pretty much. You know what the best, the most important rule of survival is? What? Eat chocolate. Lucky <laughs> I packed a few lollies. Yes, you have a bit of a snack. I'll have a bit of a scout around and see what we can find. Yeah, and let's see if we can find something that we could build a shelter of, out of. That's we could it. find a bell, a little hut out of this time. We could do. And we've still got, I don't know. Still got a few hours, haven't we? Yeah. To okay. build a little shelter. I'll have a bit of a mosey round. Yeah. You right, mate? Yeah. We've drove in here for one hour. We walked for two hours. All of that. 
like money, everything. Imagine packing. Imagine all of the people. Imagine the people who built this bivy though. Imagine how they felt the first time they came in here and everything's gone. I know. Well, maybe those guys, which I don't think they would have, but which might have happened, is they made a meeting in some kind of... No. But they would have said no to that. That's right. They would have said no to wrecking down their bivy. Anyone would say no to that. That's exactly right. They didn't do that. They definitely didn't do that. I never would have thought it. We looked at those photos, I was just like, oh, that looks awesome. And then we come back here and it's gone. And there's heaps of rubbish left here anyway. It was tidier when it was an actual bivy, eh? When it was bivy, when it was a bivy, it was far tidier than this. They wrecked the nature by wrecking the bivy. Wrecking something that they thought would wreck the nature. That's uh, that's exactly right. But it didn't wreck the nature. Like it was a shelter for us. It was a. Hmm. What are you up to, Flinny? Tell me what you're doing. I think you know what I'm doing. <laughs> no, just for the video camera so we can watch this later in years to come. And we can go, oh, remember when that happened? So tell me what we're doing now. Well, actually, <laughs> we're putting a bivy. <laughs> well, is it a bivy? Well, not that much, but <laughs> a floor of a bivy. The floor of a bivy. Well, not exactly a floor, but... So we had the option of... Walking back to the truck, but, but we chose building a bivy out here. Finley said he would rather build a bivy and sleep here, so hence we'd have we had packed all up and so we got to the hut, nothing there. Mm. So we walked all the way out here to build a hut. In the morning, we walk, we'll go to the place we um um um. Had um, a few deer calls earlier. Yeah. And, oh, so um, tell. A, so what happened? What did we, we hear? A few more um, things. What did we hear? Oh, um, um, Dad gave a few like five deer calls, and then um, and f the first deer call, or was it? Yeah. The, um, after two deer calls, after the second deer deer call, we actually call um, call, um, heard uh, um. A deer answer it, but yeah. it never showed up, so. Mm, but it was a bit exciting, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. For the first time in my life I've ever heard um, a, a um, seeker a stag. Yeah. Surprising that it actually took that long to build a bivy like that. <laughs> it might. We made, made a dirt ring for the gas canister and we've it, got most of our stuff out, so. It might not be, it might be pushing it a bit to call that a bivy, Flinny. Well. <laughs> Calling it a bevy would be pushing it a little bit, but it's, it's, it's okay. It's good, I think. It's, like it's good for us of um, uh, emergency um, bevy. Yes. Like we didn't have, it's the best we can get it. Yeah. So. That's right. I'll give it like two out of three for a <laughs> bevy without a roof. <laughs> uh, without walls. <laughs> It's the happiest of his opinion, Mark. Right, so we can look back on this video and like, and we knew a big, and we're gonna say, What the hell were we doing? <laughs> <laughs> so it's now the middle of the night. We started with our camp down there that we videoed before, and then it started to rain, and then it rained and it rained and it rained. And, and it rained again. <laughs> so then we were sleeping under our survival blankets, and it wasn't really much future in it. 
So then this boy, I had to wake him up and he just trooped for an hour. No complaining. He said actually I'm quite enjoying it as it was hosing with rain. Not a word of complaint, nothing. What a legend. What a bloody legend, mate. Incredible. So proud of you. I don't mind being so sweet with like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, we might have to try and find another pavilion, I think, next time we go to, eh? Yeah. 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 Alright, should we go home? I bet your mum and the sofa are going to go, what the hell are th these guys doing home at like the middle of the night? And like I said, each broken baby is the start of another one. That's right. Alright. Pretty good day. Yeah. You've done the thick end of 10 kilometres probably today, I think. <laughs> yeah.